then uh, he just listened to a young girl who was saying that the black community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I'm going to listen to your playlist. Some minds are meaningful. Some are empty. With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Good day. Thank you very much for talking to people, places, and events, and to the African Center for Community and Development. What is your name, sir? Poncham Francis. And you deal with plants? Good. I do. And can you tell us more about the kind of plants that you have here? Yeah. And I have mostly the non-timber forest product with valuable timber trees. That's why I domesticate. Okay. And where are you situated? At Luamo, Motowo, behind Fatiko. Okay, so now we are in one of your nurseries. You have about three nurseries, as I just gathered. So yeah. can you show us the plants and the animals and what you do in terms of work? Yeah, I will start now first introducing the arrow. This is three years old. It has been harvested three times. The arrow. And how do you plant it? By cuttings through the veins and you go inside the propagator. It takes three months inside the propagator to be matured when it has been rooted. Then from there, we take it out to the winning propagator where it stays there for a month. Then it is transferred now to outside. It stays for outside for two months. It's now meant for field planting. Any now farmer can now plant it through. But you know, it does not like an open uh, air. It grows in shade. Yeah, it grows under the shade because it's a forest vegetable. Now, do people buy arrow from you? Oh, yes. This one is already booked. As you see them, they are already booked for them. They want me just to do the cuttings and then wear them, then they buy. Even my four, my, one of my colleagues who taught me this domestication, and they said, they're waiting for me. They will send even the employees here who will do the harvesting. And how long have you been doing um, the domestication of plants? Uh, and so I started the training in 2006. Okay. So now maybe we should go to another plant. Good. Now when we say we do agroforestry, that's why you see the, the white paper. That's the yellow paper. So that you see how we can intermarry things within so that they still do well. That's yes. why we are trying to teach the farmer to do everything. What is the advantage of agroforestry? Oh, it is the mixture of animals, plants, and the mixing plant of variety with uh, leguminous plants that they can do well in one uh, environment. environment. So you manage the soil uh, in terms of yes, planting and the, everything? Yes, the soil protection and then the environmental protection. Wow. When you see, you see by the side that you have those fast timber growing stick, that is as a variable timber tree. The Sweden Mexicana, that's a three years plant. In 10 years, it will be matured for timber tree. So what is the advantage of growing fast growing timber? It, that one is good. That first, it grows faster for you to have your own timber by yourself. And that timber, it's never been eaten by termites or insects. 
it looks poise, I mean, it is the, the scent look not appreciating to animal or to insects. Okay. Yeah. So then, in terms of a country like us uh, facing um, a lot of logging, so you are advising that people should plant this species? Yes, because you see the deforestation of our forest is almost condemned by these Indian so people. We are saying that when you destroy one tree, try to plant ten, and then that is the seedlings. You go, you see the thousand that have grown. That if you are able, you, you buy five, I can give you another five so that you plant within them in that area that you have destroyed. Because we look most of the tree, we don't have mature trees, especially in Fako. And which plant is this? Uh, now, this no, this is the, uh, this is, this one is the cloves, the bears. This one is meant for preservation, and it's a spice, and it's meant for toothache. So it's both medicinal and uh, edible. Wow. Cloves. And what about um, this one that I find? Yeah, this is a leguminous plant. The leaf is, has a nitrogen fixing bacteria. The same with the root. It's a special tree. And that is why you see the arrow doing well, all both of them in the same area doing well. Though you, you see the root, it had um, nodules which you have nitrogen in, in that. What's the name of the tree? Uh, the senior. Okay. You see, within them, you see young plantains doing well. They will also be doing well. Look at it. And the orange tree, that orange tree is by cuttings. That's the first domestication we started after the training. Then also to set, things can also do well. You will see, uh, uh, what we call the fruited pumpkin. Uh, that's the okobo, where yes. the seeds, even the, you can take the soup, you make uh, ogusi soup, and also, that's color not. Then you can also, the, the, the leaves are used for vegetable, and the, uh, you see the Igbo likes it because they prepare their pot of soup, it stays for three days. Even, then, the, even the people from Manu? Yes. They like it a lot. All of us are now green, you know, the, 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 the world is getting hard, so we want to make something that you can help the house for some few days. Yes. Not only them now, we have made. Now the grasslander, they, they have started eating a room even more than the, the southern, I mean the southwest people. Yeah. I have introduced even this, uh, I carried 700 to Bamila last year. I handed them to farmers to plant. Wow. wow. We just realized that a seed has fallen Which? and you picked it up. Yeah, that's a uh, color knot. Wow. Because inside the farm here is an environmental area where you have everything inside. Like inside you will go, you have the beehives. So inside there you have nearly everything. That is why we call uh, agroforestry, making everything together. You have palms, you have everything all doing well. This is a color tree, that's it there. And then you see how uh, um, you have the, uh, the pumpkin there, which I tell you, see how it has bear a very big fruit. Okay, so let's go there. Yeah. Thank you very Thank you. much for showing me your wonderful projects and for talking to people, places and events. Thank you very much. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the community here is totally very angry. Thank you very much for Also, be very interested in this point at more than two. With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.